Yeah, hello students. Now let us see what is the question given here. So if let us consider the A set, what is the A set given? X is the real number such that mod of X minus 2 is greater than 1, right? And what is the B set here? X is the real number such that root of X square minus 3 is greater than 1. And C set is nothing but X is the real number such that mod of X minus 4 is greater than or equal to 2, right? And also they are telling that Z is the set of all integers. Then the number of subsets of a set a intersection, B intersection, these three, the whole complement intersection Z is this. This is what we need to find out, right? So, first of all, if you want to find number of subsets of this set, means first of all, you need to find A is what, the, what are the elements in the A set, what are the elements in the B set, and what are the elements in the C set, right? So, for proving this is A, let us do one by one, one by one. For proving the number of elements in the A set, what it is given? A is nothing but X, so we need to all the real numbers such that mod x minus 2 is what? Greater than 1, right? So now let us uh, try to prove for this. So what is the meaning of this? This is mod x minus 2 is greater than 1. What is, see, we already know what is my modulus function here. We can say that if you want, let me write it down. So we can say that mod x value will be what? x if x is greater than or equal to 1. This will be minus x if x is less than 1, right? So mod means what? Uh, if you take any value in bit inside that term, always it will be positive. Agree? So what I will do? Let us apply the same property here. So what I will do? Modulus means it will be uh, what? Yeah, modulus means what? It will be divided into two ways. What is the first thing? I will be taking the positive case. X minus 2 must be greater than 0. Or I need to take a negative case. What is the meaning here? X minus 2 will be what? Greater than 1. Is it okay? So this is the definition I have taken. Let me keep it in the box. Is it okay up to here? Yeah. So now let us continue. From this, what I can say? I can say that whenever if you send a negative term to the other side, it will become what? It will become your positive term. So this is what x is greater than 1 plus 2. From this, I can say that x is greater than 3. Is it okay? Huh. If you consider this case here, this will be what? x minus 2. Simply multiply with the negative term. Whenever if you multiply with the negative term, there is a sign change and there is a symbol also. There is a change. Is it okay? So greater than will be less than and this will be minus 1. Is it okay? Simply I am multiplying with the negative on both the sides. Okay. So from this x is less than minus 1 plus 2. So from this what I can say? I can say that x is less than 1. Is it okay? So what is the meaning here? Uh, from the A set, what happened to the x value here? The A set will be what? Set of all elements, which is x is less than 1. What is the meaning of x is less than 1? Instead of taking a flower bracket, this is an interval. So, I will be representing in this way. The meaning is what? We need to take all the elements. Minus infinity to 1. And what they are telling? x is greater than 3. So, union with 3 comma infinity. Agree? So, the people who, do, who does not understand this one, how I got this A set, for them, let me give you one small uh, example here. So, they will simply take a number like. So, what are the points here? 1 is a point and 3 is a point. What they are telling? They are telling that x is greater than 3. So, we need to take all the elements. 3 is included? No. Why? Because there is no greater than or equality symbol. So, I need to, I go, no need to take 3 here. Okay. 3 is not included. And all the elements, which is bigger than 3. And x is less than 1. What is the meaning here? 1 is not included because there is no equality symbol. Is it okay? Hmm. So, we need to take all the values of x, which is less than 1. So, this is what I need to do. Actually, how can I rewrite? I can rewrite that x belongs to. What is this? N most value will be negative infinity. Right most will be what? Always positive infinity. So, x belongs to negative infinity to 1. We have to take a 1 as an open interval, which means 1 is not included. Union with what? 3 comma infinity. Okay. The people who did, uh, does not understand how I have written here, this is the reason for that. Is it okay? Hmm. What I got? I got the values for the A set. Is it okay? So now let us see how I will be doing for the values of a B set. Okay. See, I will be doing all the things in the same place so that you can figure it out what they are, what we are doing, what they have given. Is it okay? So if you want, let me change the other color. Agree? So now let us take a B set. What is a B set they have given? They have given that we need to take x belongs to R such that this will be root of x square minus 3 is greater than 1. Is it okay? Hmm. First of all, what I will do here, I will consider this one, which is root of x square minus 3 is greater than 1. If I do squaring on both the sides, I will be getting x square minus 1 is greater than 1. Is it okay? So, if I send 1 to this side, x square minus 3 minus 1 is greater than 0, which means that x square minus 4 is greater than 0. Agree? 
So this is in the form of a square minus b square. So actually I can write it as a plus b into a minus b, which is greater than zero. Any doubts up to here? If you go with the wavy curve method, what are the roots for this? So the roots are what? 2 and minus 2 are the roots. Let us plot them. So minus 2, let us take it here. 2, let us take it here. So always, if you want to apply the wavy curve method here, in I'll take one separate video. I'll help you how to understand the wavy curve method, right? So this is a linear equation. This is also a linear equation, right? Rightmost will be positive. Agree? And the powers of this equation will be always odd. So alternatively, there is a plus minus. Okay. Now let us consider what we need to take. We need to take the values of x. What is the symbol here? They are having greater than, right? Greater than means positive. In this interval, we need to take the terms which are positive. In where to where it is positive? From negative infinity will be 2 and 2 to infinity. So from this, I can conclude that x belongs to negative infinity to negative 2. And I have taken an open interval. Why? Because we are having simply greater than, not greater than or equals to. Is it okay? If you feel like anything you did not understand, any doubts or any mistakes, you can let me know in the chat box, right? Union with, uh, what I need to take? I have one more. That is what? 2 to infinity is also included. So this is 2 to infinity. So what is this? This is the set of values of the B set. Are you getting my point? Yeah. So now let us consider, let us move on to the C set. We need to take A, B, C, all the three things we need to take, right? So let me draw, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry. The line is the other way. Okay, fine. So now let us take a C set. Actually, what is the C set given here? They are telling that X belongs to R. Okay. I can write it down. Hmm. Such that mod X minus 4 is greater than or equal to. So in the same way, what I have done? This is a modulus function. So uh, I already taught you mod x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 2. Modulus means what? It will be divided into two ways. One is what? Let us take a positive way. Okay. And let us take it negative way. Let us see what it will happen. If I send 4 to the other side, this will be what? 2 plus 4. Which means x is greater than 6. Greater than or equal to 6. And what about this case? x minus 4. If I want to multiply minus on both the sides, this is less than or equal to minus 2. So, which is nothing but x is less than minus 2 plus 4. Is it okay? So, from this I can say x is less than what? Uh, this will be 2 alone. Is it okay? Any doubts up to here? Simply take a number line here. Okay? This is 2. This is 6. What they are telling? We need to take all the values of 2 which is less than 2. And equality is also there. Equality. Whenever if I take, if I fill the hole with some color, that point is included. When I take a, uh, what I can say? Let me show you. Yeah. So, the, like this means, this shape does, uh, represents what? Not included. Is it okay? If I take a hole which is uh, completely filled, is it okay? What is this? This is nothing but included. That point is included. So you can see I have taken the hole here. I am taking the hole which is a filled color. Okay. I need to take all the values of x which is less than or equal to. Two. Hence this way, I need to take all the values of x which is greater than or equal to 6. From this, what I can conclude? I can conclude that x belongs to where? From the negative infinity to 2, union with 6 to infinity. Is it okay? Uh, you can ask me, ma'am, why you have taken open interval? Actually, the points are not in the, included right here. 2 and 6 are included. Whenever the points are included, we need to take the closed bracket. Okay, this is the clue. We'll call this interval as a semi-closed interval. I'll, I'll explain you in the other video. What is meant by open interval? What is meant by closed interval? How I will be representing? What is meant by semi-closed? What is meant by semi-open and all? Okay. Up to here, no doubts, I think so, right? Hmm. Now, let us continue. So, what I got? This is the first set A. This is first set B. And this is first set C. See, if you want, you need to understand everything. That is why I have written everything in one page. Okay. Hmm. So, what they are telling? We need to find the number of subsets of what? Uh, we need to find the number of subsets of Z intersection with A intersection, B intersection, C, the whole complement they are asking, right? Uh, so, first of all, let us consider, yeah. So, first of all, uh, this is what we need to find. Let us take it in a box. Uh, now, let us take what will happen to A intersection with the B intersection, C. I already taught you. What is the intersection? The common elements. What is there in common? If you check here, let us see the left-hand side. So, left-hand side here, one is there. Here minus 2 is there, here 2 is there, which is the very smallest element. Minus 2 is the very smallest element, right? So what I can say, I can take this value as what? I'm sorry. I can take this value as what? X belongs to. Simply, I can write it as what? Negative infinity to negative 2. Negative 2 is what? It is there. 
in this case also it is included in this case also it is included and in this case also somewhere here it is included right union with the, what is the other thing the right most which is the smallest value 3 2 6 are you getting my point here so in 3 2 6 which is the very uh, what i can say most included value 3 is included here 3 is included here 3 is included here very good 2 is included here but 2 is not included here i don't have a right to take 2 so what is the intersection value i can take Simply, I can go with what? I need to take with the 6. Why? Because 2 and 3 is not included here. Is it okay? Are you getting my point? I am taking the intersection. So, what is this? This will be from 6 to infinity. Are you getting my point? Huh. Now, what I want? I want A intersection with the B intersection with the C, the whole complement. What is the meaning of a complement from the whole universal set? In our case, real number will be the universal set. From the real number, we need to remove the whole thing. What is the leftover term? Only in between term. What is in between here? Simply, I can take it as a what? I can take it as a uh, closed interval minus 2 to 6. Are you getting my point? Yes. So, from the whole total real line, I have removed this one, right? So, now let us consider. What is the question here? Z intersection with what? A intersection, B intersection, C the whole complement. What is Z? Z is nothing but set of all integers. They already mentioned what are the integers. Let us take from negative that is negative 2, negative 1, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Right? Intersection with uh, what I need to do if I want to. So, this is the what interval we have. Right? If you want to take an intersection, means in both the cases I need to take the same elements. Agree or not? So, what I will do here? Can you tell me what are the intersection elements here? Intersection integers. So, in this case, minus 2 is there? Yes, it is. Minus 2. Why want only integers? So, what are the integers in this interval which lies between minus 2 to 6? If you want, let me write it down here. What are the intervals here? What are the integers here? It will be minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are the integers which lies in this interval, right? So, I think so. These are the integers which is a common in both, which are the intersection elements. Is it okay? So, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is it okay? This is our set. How many elements are there actually? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 6. So, I have taken 6 is included here. Is it okay? Hmm. These are the elements. Any doubts up to here? Yes. So, from this, what I can conclude? I can conclude that.